Hello, my name is Ivor Holker and welcome to this fast Photoshop tutorial about frequency separation. So we're going to begin by duplicating the background layer a couple of times, calling this lower layer low and calling the higher layer high. And we're going to turn the high layer off for a moment and deal with the low. So go down to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're just going to blur it until if we have a look, we can't see any of the individual pores anymore. And so what I should do, let's turn the high layer back on, go down to image, apply image, select as the source the low layer that you just created, set the blending mode to add, tick invert, and set the scale to 2. Now if you're dealing with an 8-bit image set it to subtract and don't tick invert, but we've got a 16-bit image so this is what we're going to do. And set the blending mode to linear light. So if we now group those two together, again call it something sensible, uh, you'll see if we turn that off and on we haven't affected the image at all. If we zoom in we've still got all the details exactly the same and now we can deal with the two uh, frequencies separately, the low and the highs, and that will make it much easier to edit later on, which is what we're going to do next time. So this has been how to do frequency separation very quickly in Photoshop. Mm -hmm.